Namaste, Namaskar, Vanakam, Sastriyakal, and welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. I'm Anjali. And today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, some news came out not too long ago, and we would like to share it with you in hopes that you will spread the word around. And so uh, last week we had uh, did some little clips from the UN where they were talking to, about Pakistan and China not violating a lot of human rights acts when it came to people of other faiths. And so that was a big deal. They were saying they needed to fix that in their country. And that was coming from the US and the UK and Canada. And, and they were really um, saying you need to fix the stuff in your own backyard. Before you go anywhere else, you need to work on things in, in your home countries. And so this actually came out of Pakistan and it's about a sick girl who was kidnapped and forcefully converted to Islam. And so part of it is from, you know, the people that took her side of the story. And part of it is from the family side. And, um, you know, we don't honestly know 100% what happened. But I know if somebody came and took Anjali, you better believe I'm coming after you. So this is this is hitting home for us, too. And... We wanted to spread the word in the hopes that there'll be some clarification for everybody and hopefully some hope and peace for the family. So we're going to start it up. क्या नाम है आपका आप नाम क्या रखा है इस्लाम में आपने अपनी मर्जी से इस्लाम को दूर किया कोई जबरदस्ती तो नहीं अच्छा निकाह भी अब अपनी मर्जी से कर रहे हो ना कोई जबरदस्ती तो नहीं बेटा एज कितनी आपकी अच्छा घर से कोई चीज तो नहीं लेके आए कोई जेवर वगैरह या कोई कीमती चीज कोई कीमती कागजात वगैरह दोनों पड़े बिस्मिल्लाहिर्रहमानिर्रहीम लाइलाहा इल्लाल्लाहु मुहम्मदुर रसूलुल्लाह अशहदुल्लाइलाहा इल्लाल्लाहु वहदहु ला शरी कलहु व अश हदु अन्ना मुहम्मदन अब्दुहु व रसूलु आयशा दुख्तर भगवान सी आप आकिल हैं बालिल हैं रूबरूबाहों के वास्ते हलालियत के जोजियत के आपका निकाह मोहम्मद हसान वलफ़ार अली के साथ पचास हज़ार रुपये हकमर गैर मुज्जल और पाँच हज़ार रुपये हकमर मुज्जल के वजह निकाह कर दें इजाज़त है आयशा दुख्तर भगवान सी आप आकिल हैं बालिल हैं रूबरूबाहों के वास्ते हलालियत के जोजियत के आपका निकाह मोहम्मद हसान वलफ़ार अली के साथ पचास हज़ार रुपये हकमर गैर मुज्जल पाँच हज़ार रुपये हकमर मोजल की वजह निकाह कर दें इजाज़त है आयशा दुख्तर भगवान सिंह आप आकिल हैं बालिग हैं रूबरूबाहों के वास्ते हलालियत के जोजीत के आपका निकाह मोहम्मद हसान वलफ़ार अली के साथ पचास हज़ार रुपये हकमर गैर मोजल और पाँच हज़ार रुपये हकमर मोजल की वजह निकाह कर दें इजाज़त है 
محمد حسان وال ذوالفقار علی آپ عاقل ہیں بالغ ہیں روگوں کے واسطے حلالیت کے زوجیت کے آپ کا نکاح عائشہ دختر بھگوان سنگھ کے ساتھ پچاس ہزار روپئے حق مر غیر مجل اور پانچ ہزار روپئے حق مر مجل کے وزن نکاح کر دیں قبول ہے محمد حسان وال ذوالفقار علی آپ عاقل ہیں بالغ ہیں روگوں کے واسطے حلالیت کے زوجیت کے آپ کا نکاح عائشہ دختر بھگوان سنگھ کے ساتھ پچاس ہزار روپئے حق مر غیر مجل اور پانچ ہزار روپئے حق مر مجل کے وزن نکاح کر دیں قبول ہے کل رات کو ہمارے پریوار کے ساتھ ایک بہت دردناک واقعہ ہوا ہے کچھ گنڈے رات کو ہمارے گھر پہ آئے انہوں نے ہماری چھوٹی بہن کو رسیڈ کے لے گئے اور ان کو زبردستی ٹارچر کر کے اسلام قبول کروایا صبح میں ہم تھانے چلے گئے اور ہم نے ایف آئی آر کٹوایا ایس ایچ او کے پاس چلے گئے ڈی سی او کے پاس پر کسی نے ہمیں انصاف نہیں دلایا کسی نے ہماری بات نہیں سنی اس کے بعد جب ہم واپس گھر آئے تو کچھ دیر پہلے وہی لوگ دوبارہ آئے اور انہوں نے ہمیں دھمکی دی اگر آپ لوگوں نے ایف آئی آر واپس نہ لیا تو آپ لوگوں کو بھی مسلمان ہونا پڑے گا اگر آپ لوگوں نے یہاں رہنا ہے تو میری پی ایم عمران خان اور چیف جسٹس سے اپیل ہے گزارش ہے کہ وہ ہمیں انصاف کرے ہم ہمارے ساتھ انصاف کرے ہمیں تحفظ میں رکھے جو ہم کے ہمیں دھمکیاں دی جا رہی ہے ہمیں آگے بھی تحفظ میں رکھا جائے اگر ایسا نہ کیا گیا اور میں اکتیس تاریخ کو گورنر ہاؤس کے آگے سامنے پورے پریوار کے ساتھ خود کو جلا دوں گا اور میری ایک بات اور کہ ہماری بہن کو ہمیں خود لازمی چاہیے ہماری بہن ہمیں لازمی چاہیے وہ ہمیں واپس دے دی جائے So that's um, really heart-wrenching to watch and yeah. see, like, the family really could use some help. I don't really know what's happening on the other side of the story. I mean, the looks of it, he doesn't look like he cares about her. Yeah, So it all. does really seem like she was taken against her will. Um, but investigators really need to get on this, and the people in power really need to get on this. Like, yeah. Somebody needs to find out what really happened, and if they really did kidnap her and they're threatening their family, then somebody needs to stop it. They need to return her back home to her family, and they need to make sure that they are protected. That's part of the government's job, you know. Big people in power need to help the little people, and especially the minorities in the country need a little bit extra protection than the majority. Um, You know, this is just one of those things that really hits home for us, you know, to think like our family is, is considered a minority, more mixed family. This is not the norm here. And, um, you know, to think somebody would just come in and take Anjali and try to uh, marry her off and convert her to some other religion, you know, that's just, it's not okay for anyone anywhere. It's not okay for anyone to try to pressure your religion onto anyone else like that yeah. that's religion should be your freedom of choice you yeah, know like you choose what you right if you grow up a certain way and you that's your religion and you love it then that's great if you find you want to look around and see what other people are offering that's great too 
But you should be able to choose, not, being not be forced into conversion, not be forced because you got married. You know, you guys know my husband is from India. He is born an Indian and, and, and a Hindu. I was born here in the U.S. and I grew up a Christian. And we celebrate both holidays. We try to teach the children all the good things from both sides. Yeah. Um, you know, we want them to grow up being good people. And that's really what this is about. Like being humane, being nice to others and treating others as you would want to be treated. Like would you, you know? want somebody from your family to be taken? Right. So would you want your sister to be taken and to another country or even just taken from you and then married off to some kid you don't know and converted to a different religion that you don't agree with. Different, they love each other and they want to get married. Different, somebody comes in with a gun or with a knife to your throat and takes your sister, your daughter, your mother, your, you know, child and, and rips them out of your hands and takes them off and marries them off and converts to some other religion that's not okay in any country anywhere that's yeah. not okay um religion it should be choice and you know we are always agree that peace is the answer and the the reason for us to spread this word is we are hoping that if enough people get the word out there that there's some more pressure to the government to find out what really happened and help that family is really what it's about help them fix it or find the peace in it, but there needs to be some more investigations. And it seems like they started like they were doing stuff, but I don't think it's enough if these people are coming back to their home and threatening them again. Um, you know, it's just not how it should be. It just really saddens me to see stuff like this. So I hope you guys will share this story around. Yeah. Um, we don't want we don't want to take sides. You know we love India because we're half Indian family and we love the U.S. because we're here. Um, yes. We love every country that is good to their people. It's not, we don't hate Pakistan. We hate people like this that don't do good things for Pakistan. And, you know, so it, we don't want to point fingers, but we would like that family to get some answers and get some help. And yeah. And get their daughter back hopefully like that's the good part the good I want a good end to the story so please spread the word and hopefully good things will happen in the end yes all right guys we'll see you tomorrow bye